Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I tell you what, it has been a good morning because I got great news. Really great news. That right there, boys, skillet full of veggies I'm cooking up. These are out of our deep freeze. These are vegetables that we've raised here in the garden and we vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer and keep them. That's, you know, that's a nice way of doing it. And uh, right now, oop, I had a man overboard. I had to clean it up. My wife would get mad. She might kick me out. She kicked me out of the house we're leaving out of anyway. Yeah, look here, the stove's moved out from the wall. <laughs> Sitting out here because we're soon gonna be moving the stove too. So I'm keeping the gas line plugged in to the last minute. But I'm putting some new grout in on the walls back here. How's that looking? Re-grouting it back there, grouting it up. So that is uh, another little task I've been doing while I've been tiling the floors on the other side. You know, Y'all might think, oh, you need to lose weight, you fat son of a bitch, you, on my videos. But the fact is, um, I don't eat a bunch of junk food. Mel and I, we eat pretty healthy here. You know how she cooks and all. But now she does use probably too much salt, soy, and maybe MSG. But as far as like fatty foods, we're not going and buying buckets of fried chicken. We're not at the hamburger joint in the taco stand every day. We're not hitting Taco Bell. Um, that, uh, a go out and eat fast food thing, we might eat it once to twice in a whole month. And that is the facts, Jack. Most of the stuff we eat is, uh, we don't even go out to restaurants a lot. We mostly eat here at home and we cook here at home. And we usually choose up a pretty healthy diet. Um, we, we have chicken in the freezer we've raised ourselves. We raise these chickens like we're doing right now. And uh, we, you know, harvest them and put them in the freezer also. Man, I'm gonna have to get these uh, two pieces overboard, but skillet's really full. Isn't that right, Mel? That most of what we eat, 90% of the time, we eat right here at home, don't we? Yeah. And we really don't eat like fried foods and stuff like that. So I really wasn't having a big diet issue so much as probably a big salt and stress issue and lack of proper sleep. And it, it could be possible that that, uh, that vaccine shot raised my blood pressure as well. It's done it to many people watching the vlogs with other people on multiple vlogs and people talking about that right now and uh it happened to be right in time and with us too and everybody it's like yesterday we watched one thing after another mel and they were talking about blood pressure wasn't it <laughs> philippine vloggers and they're talking about blood pressure yeah because a lot of people over are getting the vaccine right now a whole bunch of new pfizer vaccine went out well, we'll let that set a minute. I've got some olive oil in there with that. Olive oil and um, coconut oil. Man, that's the best two ones right there. Very best two ones. Over here in the Instapot. Y'all ever use an Instapot? I've got some chicken thighs off in there. Let's check this out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at that. Got all that black pepper on top. And once again, there's nothing to add in there. I didn't even add any water. I just set the chicken directly in and uh, put, once again, olive oil on top of it and that make my seasoning stick. I put just a little bit of some Louisiana seasoning, actually a different brand than the others. Let me show you. This is another one we picked up, I think, when we were out on vacation. Everyday Cajun, Cajun seasoning mild right here. Uh, look at it chicken oh bayou is that what it says yep chicken on the bayou had to zoom up hard to look with that camera in front of your face yeah the boudin shop and country store i remember us stopping on the side of the highway we got some great sausages and andoli and all that good lord boy some good stuff and this right here says it has no msg in it but i'm sure it has salt of course it's probably got salt 
But I ain't gonna wear y'all out with dietary stuff. But this is how we usually eat anyway, just to tell you the truth. Um, but I threw a little of this on there and then I doused a little bit of onion powder and some uh what did I put? Oh yeah, some good old black pepper, that coarse ground. I like the coarse ground black pepper. We got a little rice right here from Melinda. Yeah, a little bit of Melinda rice right here. Keep turning these vegetables here. Now, I'll tell you the nice thing, you grow this stuff, you know, you, you save it. You gotta eat it, you can't be keeping it for years and years. You gotta eat it up timely. But some of this is actually, those green beans right there, that is the year before last. Two years back, but they're still good and they are still crisp. Very good. Now I, bleh, bleh, bleh. I did add just a little bit of soy in there just then, not much, for a little flavoring, so my wife will eat it. But uh, not too much, not too much, and no additional salt, and no other salty seasonings. I know I'm gonna wear you guys out with this. I'll tell you what I got here. I got some mushrooms. I'm gonna throw some mushrooms off in that mix. Well, I think that'll be good in there. Now this meal is a lot. But the thing is, I can eat it now at lunch, and then I can eat some more of it at dinner. bad boys all mixed in there chop them up a little bit my dad if he ate mushrooms and he loved mushrooms boy it actually dropped his blood pressure too low he goes so low that you would get really concerned you know it'd be like he's like sedated out He's more in really slow mode. And then after a little while, he'd come back all normal again. Different people's bodies react on different things. We are all unique in many, many ways. Even though we think we're all the same. Man, I smell those mushrooms in there now, and that smells good. Mmm, my goodness. That is so good, it'll make you slap your mama. So what Mel and I normally like to do when we cook a little medley like this is we like to put a little bit of ground meat in there. Yeah, mix in just a little bit of ground meat, not too much. And man, that is really good, but I'm going to skip it today. You can take these mixed vegetables like this and brown you up a little bit of hamburger meat, a little bit of ground pork, and just throw it off in there with it. It is really delicious. Now, the Asians, Filipino wife like myself and all that, they may throw a little bit of shrimp or fish sauce or something in there. And I'm going to tell you the truth, it's good like that. It really is. That fish sauce in it, heck, probably wouldn't hurt if I put a little bit right now. It really kicks the taste on up. Um, years ago, I didn't like it, but you know that becoming Filipino thing. I'm a Texas Filipino, and uh, I've really grown to actually like that. It's a nice little extra flavor in there. Oyster sauce is good, too. Let me see if I got some oyster sauce. I'll tell you what I do have right here, and boy, this is really good in there, too. I'm sure it's got salt, so I don't want to use too much of it. But now you can have some, some salt. Look at that, boy. 47% sodium. I don't know. I don't know. This is where that crossroads come. Man, that's some good stuff. Listen to that. Well, I've been down here tiling floors this morning. I've got to get right down here right now and wipe these tiles down and uh, clean the grout lines on them before they set too long. But that's one of the tasks I have been working on is doing a little tiling. And we moved our counter right here and slid it back from over there so that we can tile underneath it 
and as well work on that wall right there and everything so we had to take some electrical wires loose that's why i never finished that up get all that where we can move it over uh cut the plumbing down there get everything where we can move it back hot cold water and electrical and drain and so i've been tiling underneath that area where the counter's going and then once i get that area done we'll go ahead and, and grout the tile underneath there move the cabinet back forward and then start on the other side where the dining room table's going but trying to do that and cook at the same time and melinda i think is outside grilling some tuna that she had already thawed out and we'll just save that to eat maybe tomorrow but she wanted to go ahead and grill it today since she'd already thawed it so um yeah it's pretty good stuff pretty good just knocking it on out i jump down there and clean my grout lines real quick before it sets because it'll definitely set up while we eat our lunch you ready to eat mo yeah. melly mo <laughs> smell grilled up some tuna out there yeah man we're still eating that tuna we got a bunch more we got quite a bit more still don't we yes, yes. <laughs> um, of that tuna from fish. that trip down to louisiana i mean it's the gift that just keeps on giving in a good way i want to share some great news with you some absolutely great news um every day my blood pressure is getting lower and lower and I, I take pictures every day of when I get up, take my blood pressure. Two times during the day I take it. Evening time, before I go to bed, I take it kind of late evening, like 8 o'clock. And each reading, every single time over the days, the top and the bottom number both are going down. The bottom number went down really fast. And... Uh, that's good, you know, that's good because that means there's probably like no clogs or nothing like that. But uh, today, when I took it, I was all the way down to uh, 125 over 81. Let's see, yeah, 125 over 81. So that's only uh, one point over what's considered normal on the low end. And it's only five points over what's considered normal on the high end everything is going good I'm not on any kind of like crazy meds or nothing I simply made a quick change now I know many of you are thinking that I probably eat a lot of beef because I raise cattle I probably don't even have none in the freezer even though we're beef producers I'm not eating a whole lot of beef for my health it's been that way for a while now uh, then I know I many probably thought I was eating a lot of sugary candies and stuff or sweet teas or any of that. I don't. I don't. I drink my coffee black. I have been drinking it black for a long time. Uh, my tea, I drink it unsweet. Like I say, I'd only just recently been drinking those canned green teas. But it is dropping. And not only that is dropping, I've been dropping my weight. Now, I'd already started working on my weight a while back. Now, I'm just going to, y'all like it that I keep it real. So, let's keep it real. A while back, I got up to 262. That's the most I've ever been in my life. I was like, what the heck? And I've been bringing it down already while all of this episode with my high blood pressure shot up. Or blood pressure shot up. And i uh, just continuing on doing what I've been doing, but I have taken on that intermittent fasting. So I'm skipping an entire day of no food. Today's been my no eat day. I've done just fine. Day before yesterday was my no eat day. Did just fine. But my weight is dropping down. So I'm in the low 240s now. I'd probably, if I go away tonight, I'm probably at 240 now. And being that uh, just... A matter of four weeks ago uh, or no yeah five, five weeks ago when I weighed and I was up there at the the higher weight yeah I've been doing really well and I'm proud for myself but just want y'all know man this this dude is ticking good right now ticking good I've not got any kind of issues that I can see I feel good I'm sleeping good, and uh, it was just uh, 
some crazy combinations and a wake up. I do need to lose some weight off. So I want you all to support me while I go through the next months ahead. Um, I'm, I'm wanting to bring my weight back down uh, a considerably amount more. If I can get to 205, I'm happy with that, you know. But uh, just to tell you guys, so y'all going to trip out on this. When I, when I first started going to the Philippines years ago, I weighed 180 pounds, you know. And uh, I was pretty fit. And so I ain't going to say I'm going to get back to that. Who knows? I might, you know. I might. But just just over these past two years, I've put on some weight. And uh, I want your support. Support me on to lose it. Appreciate that very much. No, I'm being honest about everything here. I like to be straightforward. I don't like to candy coat things or hide things. So there it is. There's my weight. There's my blood pressure. And there's what I'm doing about it. Thank you much. And uh, be sure and watch this video up here that I'm going to post for our build over in the Philippines. And let's get those old videos kicking up there pretty good. Let's get everybody uh amp back up and ready so then we return back to the philippines we can have that old algorithm pumping y'all can build up some of the earlier videos you may have missed long ago and we can get that number count up on them as well it helped me and my wife as well it helped us both uh you know we do earn a little bit from youtube and we appreciate that income you know it helps us out because traveling back and forth and doing a lot of stuff it gets expensive especially during this time right now and so any support you give us and it helps me out for the hours that i put in of making videos editing videos um when a lot of people are just chilling out i would appreciate that take care and god bless